So uh, what have you seen on film from Duke? Oh, they can really score. They, uh, you know, can get up and down. Allen, Ingram, you know, Kennard, they've got really good scores. So defensively, we're going to have to be really sharp. Transition D is going to have to be really good. Uh, they average 81 a game, and they're capable of getting that any time out. Do they remind you of any team you guys have faced so far this season? Not really. Um, they're a little different just because, you know, their perimeter scoring is pretty good. Uh, um, so, no, I, I can't think of anybody they're really similar to. You feel like you're defending the three the last couple weeks? A little better. We're running some guys off the line, but still not where we want to be. We still, you know, make some mistakes, not getting a hand up, not getting a hand on the ball, and give up some uncontested ones. And we definitely can't do that. You know, Thursday night, um, we've got to contest their threes. You had mentioned a couple weeks ago, Rosary getting into the corners. It seems anecdotally like you haven't been, been hurt that bad by shots from the corners. No, not as much. Uh, Jordan gave one up the other day, uh, but, you know, not as much. You know, our bigger guys, Chris has done a better job. Jordan's done a better job. Um, but they take 24 a game. You know, they're going to get them up there quick. And, you know, against Yale, they had the big lead at halftime because they hit nine threes in the first half, you know, so we've got to do a really good job. They don't have kind of your traditional point guard, so do you kind of see where your press and trap might be advantageous against them? Hope. We hope. Uh, you know, it, uh, anything to throw them off the rhythm. They're a real rhythm offensive team, and when they get it going, uh, they're really hard to stop. So we're hoping we can disrupt them a little bit. They only play six guys since the injury, and you guys are leaning heavily on seven. What's the process from your perspective of just managing that kind of rotation and getting through to this point in the season with, with that? Oh, we, you know, we feel real comfortable with our seven, and we know that Kendall and Roman, you know, they've, they've stepped in on occasion and have done really well. So uh, we're not afraid to go nine deep uh, when we have to, but right now we, we're working more with seven. So, uh, you know, however – many guys they play uh, you know, doesn't really matter it's a one game they've had all week to rest you know so it's it's not like they're getting them on the second game you've got some guys that are going to be playing close to home you think they'll be particularly excited you're going to have to deal with the, some emotions oh, I, with them i don't think so i think you know we're fired up enough about the tournament i don't think playing in la is going to bother them too much anaheim la <laughs> you guys have a pretty good reception here the two days you've been back in eugene or have you my office, my <laughs> yeah. office has been good. Uh, uh, you know, uh, no, nah, it's you know we're, we're on spring break, so no one's on campus. Uh, it's been pretty quiet, but uh, that's good. You know, the guys had yesterday to to recover a little bit, and uh, we'll practice hard today and practice tomorrow and be ready Thursday night. I wanted to ask you about Casey Benson. How well has he been helping your offense flow? He's done a great job. Uh, been really pleased with everything Casey's done. I mean, he's he's worked his tail off. Uh, you know, he's been really solid for us. No turnovers. Uh, defensively, he makes some plays. He had a big rebound the other night. Defensive rebound went and got it, and uh, three or four from the free throw line late. So, no, I I think he, Casey's worked awfully hard. Uh, he's done everything we've asked him to do. He's so unselfish. He's all about the team, and uh, he's done a, a very good job for us. Is he pretty good at keeping the team pretty calm, maybe when things get a little crazy, especially in the tournament? You know, he, he seems to have that effect on the guys. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard for me to tell sometimes, but uh, just hearing what the guys have said about him, uh, I think he's done a good job there. And he does get us in our offense better, which I think calms everybody down. You know, uh, they feel pretty confident when he's got the ball that, you know, we're going to run something and run it halfway decent anyway. Dana, you mentioned that after the St. Joe's win, you wanted these guys to kind of take it as a, a regular game going up against Duke. But have you seen them kind of ramp up that intensity at all as you guys get You know, we, we didn't practice yesterday. We, we just got together and, and talked about a lot of things and went over some things uh, recovery-wise and that. So uh, we'll, we'll see today, you know, how they, they handle practice, how they handle film. Uh, you know, when we travel today and watch film tonight, uh, how they handle that preparation. But... You know, again, we just yesterday was more of a recovery day. I wanted to let them, you know, get away from it for a day, other than get in the cold tub and, and get on the foam rollers and, and try to get themselves ready for a good practice today. 
you've seen in Tyler Dorsey his confidence. He had some big shots in Spokane as a freshman. He's never been on a stage like this. What, where's his confidence level? Right now? Oh, he hits big shots, you know, for us all the time. Played really well, you know, in our last two games in LA. Played well in the conference tournament, um, and and he did play well. So he'll be fine. You know, he's he doesn't lack for confidence. He's you know scored a lot of points his whole life. You know, his whole career. So. Uh, he's used to scoring, and uh, you know he had some big shots. We got a big offensive rebound put back for us. The three was big, and then uh, the two free throws to ice it. You know uh, he had a big seven points there down the stretch that uh, really important for us at a critical time. You talk about making sure the players are getting recovered and everything. Is these stretches taxing on coaches at all? Well, we're older, you know, so it's uh, we uh, need our sleep. But no, it's. Uh, it's easy for us. It's not you know, physical. It's more of a mental, you know, thing. And uh, but you're just so excited, you know, to be in this position. Heck, I've coached a long time and haven't had these opportunities very often. And I and I told the players that and I want them to enjoy it. You know, there's only 16 teams out of 351 still playing. You know, so uh, you know we want them to to be excited about it. Uh, but now nah, we'll. We'll be fine come Thursday night. You know, everybody be ready, and we'll be rested and ready to go. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.